welcome back to my home and most of all welcome back to my kitchen hello to all my new subscribers welcome to the family and to all my old subscribers y'all already know how i get down okay but anywho y'all on the menu for today is baked pork chops my way of course y'all know my motto cook what you know your family will eat don't let anyone tell you what to do in your kitchen you guys but anywho y'all let's go ahead and jump in these pots let's get it okay guys here are some of our vegetables that we're going to be using today guys i have some mixed bell peppers i have onions i have green onions i have mushrooms i have green bell peppers i have carrots i have cream of mushroom soup i also have me some chicken broth guys these are the seasonings that i will be using today i have tony's i have complete seasoning i have roasted garlic and red pepper seasoning i have kitchen bouillon flavor i have onion powder garlic powder black pepper some beef soup dip mix and i also have ranch seasoning these are my seasonings guys so guys we're going to start off by my favorite part and that's chopping up my fresh vegetables you guys so i'm going to let the music play while i prep up our vegetables <music> Wash our carrots off. I got some lemon juice here. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash those carrots off. I had these carrots left over from the last time. I ain't want them to go bad, y'all. I don't like the way food. Too many homeless people in this world. I do not like the way food at all. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use these before they go bad. And I'm gonna just leave them sitting in some water until I need them. And I'm just gonna set them to the side, y'all. We have some pork chops here, and I'm just gonna put some lemon juice. Yes, and baby, I always clean all my meat with lemon juice and vinegar. And I just got white vinegar. Yes, and baby, and we're gonna clean it really, really good. Y'all, look, listen, ain't nothing like cleaning that meat, y'all. Nothing like it. Clean your meat, baby. Don't be scared. Get that meat clean. Y'all, can y'all believe that I used to be scared <laughs> to touch meat? I used to did not like to touch meat. I used to be like, ew. Like, no way am I touching that. And now that <laughs> I always been a cook, y'all, but I always used to use like tongs and stuff like that to touch any kind of meat. And y'all, now it's like... Let's put this meat on the grill. Let's fry this meat. Let's cook this, let's cook that. I am not scared of meat no more. I don't know why when I was younger, I was that way, but I'm definitely not that way now. I will cook me some meat, y'all. Yes, indeed. I'm just gonna pat my meat dry, y'all. I hate when my seasoning be floating in a bunch of liquid, y'all. So just try to get all the liquid you can out of your your thing that's all i'm doing okay guys we're gonna just season our pork chops up i am seasoning it first with some tonies and you don't want to go too crazy with the tonies just want to give it a light little sprinkle with the tonies but you do want to make sure everything is well seasoned i am going in next with some complete seasoning this is one of my favorite seasonings complete it has some of everything in it guys and you just want to make sure you get everything really well then i'm going in with some black pepper and you want to season both sides guys 
I love me some flavor, y'all already know that. If you ain't sneezing, it definitely ain't season, okay? We love some flavor over here, guys. We definitely do. So, gotta make sure everything is well seasoned. Then I'm gonna come in with some of that rosemary, uh, not rosemary, I'm sorry, guys. Some of that roasted garlic and red pepper. I get this seasoning out of Bell's. Um, I'm sorry, not Bell's, but Burlington's or either Ross. And it's a great seasoning. They have all different flavors. This is some garlic powder, you guys. Followed by some onion powder. And then I'm just going to flip it over, guys. And we're going to do the other side the exact same way. And these are like medium cut pork chops, guys. I didn't want them too thick, but I like them thick, but just not too thick. And last but not least on my pork chops, I am going to sprinkle some of that uh, ranch, Hidden Valley Ranch season. I'm only going to do one side, guys. I don't want the ranch to take over the pork chops. So I'm only going to do one side. But you can do both sides. It's up to you guys. But it does give your pork chops a whole different flavor, guys. It really does. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to put a little bit of water in the bottom. And I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil. And I'm going to let these bake for about 20 minutes. And we're going to jump over here and make this simple and easy gravy to go on top. You never want to pour your liquid directly on your pork chops. It washes off all your seasoning. I'm going to put these in the oven, guys, and let them go. Okay, guys, the first thing that's going into our bowl is our cream of mushroom. Once we get all of that in, let me scrape it all out. You want to get everything out of the bowl. Is our cream of mushroom, guys. And then I'm going to add in our seasonings, just the seasonings that I showed you earlier. Definitely got to have some flavor. I'm going to go in with some chicken bouillon seasoning. And then I'm going to go in with all of our veggie, all of our vegetables, guys. Those are our green bell peppers, our green onion, our onions, our mushrooms, our mixed bell pepper. And of course, our carrots. Then I'm going to go in with our soup dip mix, our beef flavored. And I'm also gonna go in with a little browning, guys, cause I like my gravy a little dog like me, okay? A little dog like me. And then we're gonna go in with some of our chicken broth guys now you may pour how much broth you like guys if you want your gravy thinner do a lot of broth if you want your gravy kind of thick don't do too much broth but i like my gravy kind of in between you guys so i just kind of eyeball it let me see what i'm looking at because don't forget guys that the uh vegetables and everything makes your gravy thick as well and you just want to mix everything up together this is the quickest gravy i know to make baby i mean i like making gravy from scratch don't get me to line okay i do like making my gravy from scratch but i also like doing it this way as well and y'all it's a little too thick for me so i'm gonna go in with more broth
And once our pork chops has been in for 20 minutes, we're gonna put this delicious gravy on top of our pork chops. Then you can see the gravy better as I pour. But this is a simple and easy gravy, guys. You wanna get in and out the kitchen, this is the goal, okay? To get in and out. Don't wanna keep you guys in the kitchen too long. So, gravy is dark and chocolate like me. I'm satisfied. And I'll show you when it's time to pour on top of our pork chops. Our pork chops after 20 minutes in, baby, they're looking delicious. It is time for the gravy, guys. Yes, indeed it is. So let's pour it right on top. We already got a little gravy going in the bottom. And when everything combined, it's just lovely. Anyways, let's pour this gravy right on, guys. Simple and easy gravy. You want to get everything out of that bowl, you guys? Yes, indeed. Y'all, it smells delicious. Not even done yet, okay? And it smells great. Yes, it does. And we just going to move everything around. Hold on, y'all. Let me get a hold on. This pan is hot. And we just gonna move everything around. Look at all this goodness, y'all. Yes, indeed. Look at all this goodness. Yes. Look at all the vegetables. They just so pretty in this gravy. Yes, you just gonna let those pork chops finish cooking, guys. I'm gonna put them back in the oven, you guys. And I will bring you back when everything is all bubbly and delicious and good, honey. I'm going to put it right back in there. I do have my oven on 350, you guys. And I'm going to put it back in there for an additional 30 to 35 minutes or until all my vegetables, my carrots and everything are soft. Okay, y'all, I'm just taking it out of the oven. Ooh, aluminum foil is trying to rip. Let's get all that off. All that goodness. Okay. We're going to set this over here to the side. Let me get a spoon. Y'all, look at all this. Look at all this goodness. Y'all, look at this pork chop. Ooh, it's falling all apart. Let me get another one. Oh, yes, yeah, this is what I'm looking for, honey. Look at that. Y'all, look at it. Yes, baby, honey. Picked it up with a carrot on it. Y'all, look at it. When I say tender, yes, yeah, that's what you're looking for. That's why you want that gravy, y'all. Look at all them onions and my carrots, everything just right. Yes, indeed, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and fix a plate, y'all, and plate it up for y'all. And baby, look, listen, we out the kitchen. Simple and easy, out the kitchen. Let me go ahead and fix the plate. Okay, guys, here is my plate. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.